Hey, Sword Axe here, and today we're we're here with another deck profile. Um, this time we're going to do a deck profile on. Um, well, it's more like an update deck profile. Um, I'm doing an update video, video, update deck profile on my CEO uh, Yakrasil build. So yeah, um, we're just gonna get started with that. Okay, so uh, starting Vanguard, we run, we still run Regalia of Prayer, Pray Angel. Ability is that when your Vanguard is in Legion, you put her into Soul and you Soul Charge 3, and then you choose one of your Vanguards and it gets plus 5k. So, helps build Soul for to activate uh, CEO Yaku Soul's um, Soul Blast 6 ability, which we'll get to later, and plus 5. So, with her, you're getting plus 4 Soul. So, helps so grade 1, grade 2, that's 2 in the Soul Array, then 4, then you should have 6, and yeah. Yep, six souls to help activate Yaku Soul's ability. So yep. So I like her a lot because she helps build the soul and she gives a plus five to um to your Vanguard when you Legion, so yeah. Uh for grade threes, obviously since it's a CEO build, we're gonna run four CEO uh Yaku Soul and we have one SP because yes. So, she is the main card that you're going to be using a lot because she it is a legion build, so you're going to have her. So, her ability is that you soul blast six when this unit attacks a vanguard, and if it's in legion, you pay the cost. If you do, until the end of battle, she gets plus one crit, and your opponent can't guard with great one star or higher. So, she gets a glory effect, so it forces your opponent to drop tens of um, great zeros, zeros if they want to guard the attack. And with uh with the support with the with the tons of car support and cards that get, Regalia gets, they're going to be dropping a lot of grade zeros in order to stop this attack. So, yeah, it's not it's going to be fun for you, not fun for your opponent. And her second ability is that if you have another unit unit in the middle column, she gets plus three k. So, but non Legion she'll be attacking for fourteen. With Legion she'll be attacking for twenty three. So, not too bad. And she's so awesome. Yeah. Uh, last grade threes we run four Regalia Wisdom Angelica. She is the break ride, and since the Living Break Enabler came out, you can actually run her. Uh, so her ability is that Living Break four, you Soul Blast three when you when uh when you gen you, when you ride a Genesis unit, uh you pay the cost. We do. You draw two cards, and then your Vanguard gets plus 10k. So not bad. Your she basically gives you she gives you plus two basically for the turn. So yeah, and then when she attack her second ability is when she attacks, you slow charge one. She gets plus 1k. So um, you have to slow charge. It doesn't say you may. You have to slow charge when you attack. So it's a bummer. So you really don't want to be on her too often. Um. Normally, if you between the two cards you have in your hand, um, since this all this since this deck also uses strides, um, you probably want to ride Yagusol first and then use Angelica to stride. But if you have Angelica in your hand and you can't and you don't have Yagusol, then you can easily just ride onto her and just wait till break right turn because break right turn with these two is pretty devastating and if you have the if you have the support cards in order you could be attacking you're going to be attacking for really big numbers so yeah um either or it's up to you which one you want to ride first you want to try to get break right out first you can ride angelica to break right on top otherwise you can just go yag yourself and use her for strive fodder but oops wrong card. but yeah um yeah, I managed to pull out Break Ride Turn before, and it was pretty devastating. I really, I did hit for really, really big numbers. So yeah, so four Angelicas. Uh, for Grade Twos, we run four Norn. She is the mate to Yakuza, so obviously you want to max her out. And then her ability is that when you, when you Soul Blast her, you give your Vanguard one of your Vanguards plus five K. So if you so so you so blast three of her, you're giving your bank Vanguard plus fifteen k, which is pretty pretty devastating. If it's uh, especially if you broke ride, so broke ride then Legion that's thirty by herself, plus the plus three k so that's thirty three. 
then plus 15 that is 48 and then I'll get on to more more things later on with power but yeah for Norns because she's very she's essential when it comes to Yagusa builds uh, next we run for Minde Regalia Hermera she's also pretty essential because her ability is that when you place her on rear guard circle you choose three cards with Regalia in your drop zone and put them into your soul so basically instead of just soul charging from the deck she basically helps you soul charge uh, recycle soul from the drop zone so you soul blast three norns call her then choose your norn again and put her back into soul which is pretty amazing so you're always going to get that plus 15 if you manage to soul charge those three so yeah and then if you have more than that you have two and you call both of them then you're soul charging six from the drop zone which is not bad especially if you have more norns or other support cards that will help with um with um doing some devastating things to your opponent but yeah for Hermeras and uh, lastly we run for grade twos three twilight regalia hesperus she is the she is a promo card you, you get her when you do the i think it was the sneak pre sneak release for for the extra booster but yeah uh She's a pretty good card. Her ability is that when you soul blast her from the soul, uh, your vanguard gets the ability that when the when the vanguard hits, you choose one of your opponent's rear guard and retire it. So basically, more pressure for your opponent to guard the attack. Because when so the ability just says itself, when the, when your vanguard hits, when you soul blast her, um, you choose one of your opponent's rear guards and you retire it. So that obviously puts pressure on your opponent to guard the attack because they if they if they have important rear guards they won't let this attack hit. And if you manage to use the Yagusa ability, they're they're restricted to using grade zeros only. So yeah. And then if you soul blast more than her, from what I've heard, it actually stacks. So if you manage to soul blast three, you get to retire three if you hit. So yeah, pretty devastating. To grade ones. You run for Exorcism Regalia Shiny Angel. Not, nothing much to say because she's basically the grade 1 version of Hamera. When you place her on rear guard, you choose 3 Regalia from Drop Zone and put into Soul. That's about it. Nothing else more to say. Uh, next, I run 2 Purification Regalia Pure Angel. Um, her ability is Camblast 1 when she's placed on rear guard. You choose when you're Vanguard with Regalia in its name and it gets plus 5 to end of turn and also get the abilities to blast 3 when the Vanguard hits, you draw a card. Um, I don't find myself using her ability too often. Um, I'm basically usually riding her as my Grave 1 ride. Um, but if you do manage to call her to Rearguard, then Counter Blast 1, you give your Vanguard plus 5. So it's basically adding 5k to your Vanguard, which is not bad. If, especially since you're going to be pairing it up if you use the starter that's another plus five then soul charging a whole bunch of norns that's another plus 15 if you manage to get three in there so basically just helps build power for your opponents to try to stop the attack so dropping a lot of zeros because for for Yakusil's ability so yeah two of a uh, pure angel uh next Two of the new Limit Break Enablers that came out in Site GBT04. I uh, run two just in case I have to ride Angelica and just call this out and then break ride easily. Done. That's about it. Next, one of the few cards that are not Regalia. Um, I run two of the Stride Enablers, Skull, just to help out with strides. And that's about it. I can't use the other ability because I don't run Fenrir, but yeah, two skulls just to help us try it. And lastly, three perfect guards and one quintet wall. I'm still iffy about the quintet wall because I don't like quintet walls. But since it's a, I guess since it's a legion build, just taking that one. And then three perfect guards or perfect guards or perfect guards. Uh, no need for the G perfect guards because this deck doesn't really counterblast that much. Um, like I'm trying to think the um, pure angel yes pure angel counterblast one this counterblast one 
and the stride one of the strides can blast one but uh, but it unflips itself so it's fine yeah so it's not a can blast heavy deck so no, no need for the unflipping yeah lastly trigger lineup eight crits because crits are going to crit because you love to see that yellow symbol over there especially when you double crit your opponent on yakuza which is why it has two crits so yeah uh, eight crits gets crits. I actually changed to four stands now. Stands cause stands cause of what it does. It's basically a Norn. So soul blast this from the soul. Give you Vanguard. Give one of your Vanguard plus five. So if you manage to soul blast um, three Norns and three of this guy, you're giving your Vanguard plus three k thirty thirty k five three six nine. Yeah, you're giving your Vanguard plus 30k to your already, if you broke ride, already 33k, that's 63. Then if you use 63, then if you use Pure Angel and um, Prey Angel, that's another 10k, that's 73k attack. So, yeah, this is what I like about Yagusil, yeah, because the support she has gives her big numbers for your opponent to at least, in order to make it 2 to pass drops at least 70k shield if you manage to get it like that but yeah so four sands because of of the norn ability and then four heals because heals are going to heal you kind of need it so yeah uh, now on to the g zone uh oops uh one goddess of Ferment and DNA. Um, she's just there for the on hit. Soul Blast 3, check top 3, put 1 in your hand, the rest into your soul. Nothing much else to say. I don't actually use her too often, so I just I just have her there just because. Um, one Doom Brace. Doom Brace is um, Soul Blast 3, choose 2 of your rear guards, plus 5, give them plus 5k. Then if you have 2 or less cards in your soul, use Soul Charge 3. Um, you essentially, you essentially be using this for early, probably first stride. Though I don't actually use them for first stride, but yeah, giving your giving two of your guards plus five k really helps, especially since you're running stands. Just gonna add more uh, pressure for your opponent to guard the attack. Uh, two sacred flame. Ultimate Regalia Demeter. She's actually the first stride I would actually go for because since your deck, since both your vanguards are Regalia in its name, uh, ability is count when this unit attacks Vanguard. You may and you have a heart with Regalia in its name. You can count blast one. Two, if you do, uh, for each of your heart, you still charge three. So if you're a Legion, you still charge six, and then you, uh, then you unflip, e equal to the amount of hearts as well. So if you have, if you're a Legion, you unflip two. So basically, she's kind of last one, but after that you unflip one. So basically, her ability is free to use. So yeah, uh, to her because regalia, and then finally, uh, for Vanagander, um, he's basically like really good because uh, ability is generation break two. You counter blast, uh, you still blast six, and a persona flip when you attack. Before you drive check, you check the top four cards, then you put them however you want on the top or bottom of the deck. So basically help you stack triggers and all that jazz. So yeah, nothing much to say. I talked about him in the friend of your deck profile, so that's all good. And yeah, that's basically it for this deck profile, guys. Um field formation wise, you there's actually really not much of a field formation. You just kind of go with the flow. Um, obviously you just want to get, obviously the main important thing to do to have in this deck is basically have her on the Vanguard Circle. Probably if you break ride, that's even better. You broke ride on top of Angelica, that's even better. So yeah, but other than that, whatever rear guards you can put out, just put them out. Um, whether it be grade 2 or grade, or uh, a grade 3. Because having a great uh, having a little K rear guard is not too bad, especially since you're running stands, 16K. So yeah. Uh, other than that, yeah, that's it for this deck profile, guys.
I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.